Uh, we just got a load on a roll top step deck today. Taking it down to Chino. Oh snap. That's not that's not my normal truck. We got the heavy haul truck today. So yeah, I'm taking our heavy haul truck. Um, dropping this load off down in Chino at our yard. Someone else will go deliver it. And uh, I'm picking up a load. Uh, picks up down in Long Beach uh, on an RGN. Uh, it's going to be, from what I understand, it's 61,700 pounds. And I'm bringing it up back up here to Wilsonville, Oregon. And uh, since the load weighs so much, gotta have a special truck to haul it. Gonna be about uh, somewhere between 90,000 and 95,000 gross. Got the big 20,000 pound uh, tag axle, got 20,000 pound steer axle, 46,000 pound rear axle. This truck has a uh, Pack R 510 horsepower, uh, I believe 1870 torque. It's the biggest engine that you can get from a Pack R. It's a 2015, but it's only got 130,000 miles on it. Yeah, 138,434. And even though it's a 2015, you couldn't tell by looking at it because it's so clean. It's got carpeted floors and they're like totally clean. It's got the little small sleeper on it, but, uh, where's the switch? There we go. It's got the little small sleeper on it, but at least it has the extra cabinets up there. I haven't, uh, it's kind of a mess in here. I threw all my stuff in here yesterday and, and, uh, it didn't even have a mattress in here. I had to go, or, go over to our shop and get a new mattress. But I haven't even made the bed yet. I threw all my stuff in here and then went and picked up this load and stopped at home last night. Uh, it's got an 18 speed. It's got the, uh, uh, my truck has the screen on the dash like this, but this one's like a better version of it. Uh, it doesn't, cause my truck is the same year as this one. My truck has like 500,000 miles on it. Um, but this, my stereo is different, even though we're the same year. And that, like, this part is different, and the screen itself is different. Like, it's a whole different uh, software. Got uh, suspension gauge and the gauge for the pusher axle. We got. Uh, fifth wheel slide, PTO, rear uh, rear diff lock, front diff lock, and then inner axle lock. So this thing has four lockers. We got sus this one's suspension dump. I right, feel a sneeze coming on. <laughs> uh, we got suspension dump, and then this one raises the suspension. Like, I knew this was a thing that you could do, but I've never seen that switch before, so that's pretty neat. Uh, I don't know what this switch does. Then obviously you got your DPF the deal there and your engine brake. And then this switch over here is the same as this switch, but I don't know what they do. I flipped them and they didn't seem to do anything, but uh, I don't know. And uh, this switch here is something special for the, if you have a trailer that has a lift axle, you can, and the wire to plug it into the front 
can use your lift axle on your trailer from the cab. And uh, something about trailer lights also right here. You have to have a separate seven-way plug for those to work though. And we got fog lights and marker lights and regular headlights. My truck doesn't have fog lights. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this truck is pretty nice. Uh, and I'm gonna go pick up this heavy haul load. Okay, so I was wrong about this switch. This switch controls some of the lights on the trailer, as you can see. If I flip it off, the front lights go off, but that back light back there is still on, unless I flip off this switch. So, yeah. I don't know, that's weird. I figured this would be for, um, like if you had backup lights on the back of your trailer or something, or, or beacon lights or something, you could control them with this switch, but I guess not. Here it is all loaded up. Got the trailer stretched out and the uh, flip axle down on the back using the tag axle on the truck. The whole thing together weighs 110,000 pounds plus a little extra. Got like 14 on the draw on the steer. I think this group together was like uh, 40, 46, I think, or maybe 41. I got it written down. Let me just grab the paper. All right, yeah, so the steer was 1340. The drop axle, it says pusher on the dashboard, so I wrote pusher on the thing, but. The drop axle is uh, 11,240. The drives are 37,420. The drive and the pusher together is 48,660. So that whole group right there is 48,000. And then the trailer is 49,260. And we're grossing 110, nine, almost 111,000. So I had two tarps on it to begin with, but uh, the wind decided I didn't need two tarps. 
<laughs> it blew off the trailer and it tore in half. Big mess. I don't know what happened. I, I, I don't know, but uh, I had to pull over and get it all picked up and I added these two straps over this front tarp so the front tarp wouldn't pull the same maneuver. I've been dealing with this light the whole trip. This light right here. The light works, but the plug on the inside keeps coming unplugged. So this, I noticed it was out again yesterday when I parked here and I decided, you know what? We've only got about a hundred miles to go. Forget about it. But the one on the back works, so. There's the tarp that fell off. Got it all wadded up back here. been interesting coming down all the going up all the mountains and coming down all the mountains I'm used to going down those mountains at uh, you know 45 55 miles an hour this with this here I'm going down the mountains at 20 20 <laughs> so yeah I got about a hundred miles to go I don't know where that video cut off at, but I was walking around the truck and the Bluetooth connected to the stereo and shut off the camera. <laughs> but uh, I've got about 100 miles to go and I'm supposed to be there at 8. Uh, it looks like I'll be there about 7.30. So I'm going to get going and uh, uh, get this thing delivered. They're getting it all rigged up to pull it off. From what I can tell, they're going to pull it off and then they're going to turn it sideways and it's going to go right inside that door there. But, uh, I don't know. 